Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an anti haul. I've never done one of these on my channel, but I see these videos all the time and I've always wanted to make one. Now I just want to make a quick disclaimer that just because I mentioned product doesn't mean I don't like anything from the brand. It's just that specific product maybe didn't interest me or I don't think it's going to work well with my skin or for whatever reason. I just want to share with you guys some things that I will not be purchasing. And these will be like new releases and things that have been pretty popular on Instagram. And I get all of my information from Trend Mood at, on Instagram. I'll have her link down below. Um, she posts like all the new releases of makeup. So this is where I got all my pictures from that will be popping up on the screen. So if you guys would like to stay in the know, then make sure that you follow her. But yeah, let's just get into this anti-haul. Okay, so I'm going to be looking down at my phone at this video just because I have pictures of everything that I will not be purchasing. So let's just start from the beginning. So the first thing that I will not be purchasing is from Too Faced and it is the Chocolate Gold Palette. Now I don't have any eyeshadows from Too Faced, I don't think. I don't have the regular chocolate bar either. But I just, I've never heard like great things about their eyeshadow and then the way they have their palette set up. None of them have ever really excited me. So I'm just going to pass on this one as well as the Clover Palette. Um, this palette to me just you know it's pretty colorful but just everything they have mixed together to me doesn't really go together and I just I'm gonna pass on that palette as well and then the last palette from Too Faced I will not be purchasing is the white chocolate bar this palette is very pastel and it's just they don't, they're not colors that I would use. The next thing that I will not be purchasing is the new KKW Beauty Highlighters. Now she came out with five loose highlighters it looks like. Um, no one I've seen have reviewed this yet so I'm just basing this on uh, from what I see. I just, I have like a ton of highlighters and I don't really need any more. Maybe if I was still building my kit I would um, try them out but I'm sure it's gonna have a high price tag and I'm just not really impressed I just think I'm gonna pass on it a lot of these are eyeshadow palettes because I feel like I have a ton of eyeshadow and I already have like most of these colors so a lot of these things are eyeshadow palettes but Kevin and Kwan just came out with the electric pop palette and it's just like all they're all shimmer except for the black and I do like the colors in it, like I think they're fun pops of color, but it's going to be expensive because it's Kevin Aquan and I've never used his eyeshadow so I'm not sure. Maybe if I saw this in store and I swatched it, maybe I'd purchase it, but for now I feel like I have a ton of eyeshadow and I don't use like a ton of blues and purples like shimmer all the time so I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on that palette. The next thing is the Wet Set. Now this is the highlighter palette from Kylie. And I don't know, like I said, I'm just kind of like over buying highlighters because I feel like I have all the, you know, I have all the colors that I'm going to use, you know. I don't know. I will say ColourPop just came out with some loose highlighter palette highlighters and I did buy one of those so I can't really say I'm not buying them. But I'm just like not as excited about them anymore. I just feel like I have all the colors and like this one I feel like. I wouldn't use the two darker ones and I don't really use the pink that often so I only use one color out of this palette so to me that's not worth it to buy it even if it is a good formula I just won't use it you know so the next thing I love Juvia's Place I love Juvia's Place I have a ton of their eyeshadow palettes I really do like them I really do think the eyeshadows are great but they just released the Deuce um, eyeshadow palette and I believe Nick Tutorials just did a video on it and it looks beautiful don't get me wrong I'm sure it's beautiful on the eyes and the colors, but the colors just don't scream to me. They're more pink, and there's like a really like a uh, pastel green, and I just, I don't need the eyeshadow palette, you know? It just has colors that I'm not going to use. I'll maybe use like three out of the nine that you get, 
And I just, I already have the ones I really like from them, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass on this shadow palette. But I do think if you want a colorful palette, um, Juvie's Place eyeshadow quality is really good. So I do recommend it if you are looking for those colors. But I'm just going to go ahead and pass. Okay, the next eyeshadow palettes are the ones from Kylie, and they are the Naughty and Nice palettes. They're $44, and I just feel like... I've never um, tried her eyeshadow palette, so I can't say because of quality or anything because I've never tried her eyeshadows. But for $44, I can get an Anastasia eyeshadow palette. I can get Makeup Geek shadows and build my own eyeshadow kit. And I know the quality is amazing. I can pick out the colors. These colors don't really scream to me. Um, of course, there are a few shades in each palette that I would use. But like the whole palette in general, I just don't feel like I need it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. Okay, next is the Metal Crush palette from Kat Von D. Um, again, this is a highlighter palette, and I'm just not into the like really holographic, colorful highlighters. I just, I'm not. I use neutral, you know, ones for my skin tone as I'm wearing today. Um, you know, more golden, champagne, more like a pearl, you know, I don't use like blue, purple, pink highlighters. I think it's fun for like a creative look or something more editorial, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm not going to use a pink highlighter. So for me, it's just, there's no point for me to get it since I do do more beauty makeup and not so much editorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass on that. I'm sure it's beautiful. It looks like it swatches really amazing, but again, just the color selection isn't for me. The next palette is from Urban Decay, and it is the Distortion Palette. Now, these colors do look really pretty um i'll have to swatch it in store to like make up my mind for sure i just don't think i need it because again i just recently have bought a ton of eyeshadow palettes like i have so many eyeshadow palettes that i haven't even used yet like it's bad you know i need to start using the ones i have and so i just feel like i don't need to buy this plus it's more colorful again and i you know if you watch my channel, I do do some colorful looks, but like on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm using like neutral tones, warm tones, cooler tones. I do use, but I don't use like a lot of like bright pinks and bright blues and greens, you know, on an everyday basis. So for that reason, I just feel like there's no point for me purchasing this. The next eyeshadows I will not be purchasing are the Smashbox um, trios, but these palettes just don't scream to me. I think if you're a beginner and you don't want to have to layer on like four different colors, then I would say go for this because they have several different color combinations and there are some color combinations that are beautiful. And I also think this would be great for travel, but just looking at it, I wouldn't think like, oh, this is high-end makeup, you know? But they do have good eyeshadow quality, um, but for me, it's just not very practical since I have a ton of palettes with these colors that I use anyways. So I just think I'm going to pass on that. The next new release is the new Urban Decay Concealer. And I'm sure a ton of people are going to rave about this. Um, but I never tried the foundation because I'm not into the really, really full coverage matte foundations. They just never look good on my dry skin. And considering this has the same packaging as that um, foundation, I do not think I'm going to like it because it's, I feel like it's going to be really drying on my dry skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass on that. I can already tell that it's going to be that way. Okay, the next thing is the Lime Crime Diamond Dew Lid Toppers. So these are like loose pigments, it kind of looks like. I don't know if y'all have heard about Lime Crime, but they haven't had the best reputation over the years. They kind of got into a bunch of controversy. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sure you can type in Google like Lime Crime Controversy. I'm sure people on YouTube have made videos on it if you are really curious. But they just don't have the best reputation. These just don't really scream to me because I don't use loose pigments all that often. I like more of a pressed shadow. Um, but I, it's really about the ethics and I just don't think I want to support their company. Um, but again, if you want to research that for yourself, you can. Okay, the next thing is the Tarte Toasted Palette. Now, I love this palette. I would totally use this palette, and all the colors are definitely up my alley. So, maybe if someone gave it to me as a gift, like, obviously I would use it. But for me, buying with my own money, it's $46, and 
I have all those colors. Like, I have a ton of warm eyeshadow palettes. I really don't need another warm eyeshadow palette. Um, but, you know, if someone was to give it to me for a gift, I would be so happy. But, again, I just have a bunch of eyeshadow and I don't really see myself needing to buy that right now. Okay, the next new thing that's come out is the Hootie, Hootie, I cannot say that, Huda Beauty Foundation. Um, this, I can already tell it won't be good for my skin. I've even seen some dry skin girls that I watch, you know, review it and they were like, you know, if you have dry skin, you're going to hate this. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass on that because I do have dry skin and I don't want it clinging to my dry patches. And I heard it has amazing coverage though, but I'm just scared about the dry skin part. So I think I'm going to pass on that and wait for a new foundation for dry skin to come out because I feel like, not saying this is not a good thing, but like I feel like all the foundations coming out are for oily skin right now. And I just don't have oily skin and I'm like, I try to make it work, but sometimes it looks really dry and cakey. So... I'm just going to go ahead and pass and not spend money on that right now. And then the other foundation is the new Jouer Full Coverage, um, High Coverage Cream Foundation. Again, this looks like it has amazing coverage. It has good reviews, but it's not for dry skin and I'm scared I'm going to look cakey. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that as well. Okay, you guys, so that was it for my anti haul. Um, Trend Mood posts like everyday new makeup, so I'm sure there'll be like more new makeup that I'm not going to want to buy. And if you do like this type of video, then I can do another one like in a month or so when a bunch of more makeup comes out that maybe doesn't interest me. If you like these types of videos, I know I like to watch these types of videos because it kind of gives me like a pre like especially if the person has the same like similar taste as me and maybe they have the same skin type as me. I kind of see like what they don't want to purchase or like what doesn't interest them. I don't know. I think that's just as interesting to watch as a haul video or like things that you want to purchase. But yeah, again, this video is not to bash any brand or the products. It's just maybe it didn't interest me for this reason or that reason. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you have some products that you're not interested in buying or don't think it's going to work out for you so you just don't want to spend the money on it, please leave those down below just so I can see what you guys aren't interested in. Or if there's products that you want me to try or you're interested in that you see on the internet going around, then leave those down below too so I can check those out. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.